The surveillance is now everywhere around us, where we are being watched and watching. According to Van der Waal, Van der Harwagen, and Zurowski, technique and technology make surveillance happen from the camera, social media, and statistics. Almost everywhere we can see it, on the street to our home, school, and shopping center, even on the internet sphere. Now, I'm going to discuss the benefits and problems around surveillance. The first benefit of surveillance it makes public feel safer. With the camera on the street, public feel safer even though they have to walk in the middle of the night where it lacks of lighting, because knowing that someone is watching them from the camera. As Wokult quote on Chakli article, surveillance can make people to feel safe. Baru and Shoshal in their article discussed chilling effect of surveillance, the notion on people behavior when they aware they are being monitored. Thus, people who want to do harm will think twice to do it because they are being recorded. Second benefit is that surveillance can help police in their job, make criminal records stored in the database. Gates and Magnet note that now surveillance help police easier to know criminal background from the audio in their car. They are no longer have to call the other staff at office. As Van der Waal, Van der Harrigan, and Zorowski argue, in this case, surveillance become an enabler of communication. In other words, surveillance help police in their communication process and save their time. Moreover, in Netherlands, some supermarkets use camera in store to recognize faces that in the police list said group. The program will alert the shop assistant if the face meets with photograph on the police database and if someone extrains. Moreover, Focus said in the Chakli article that surveillance can help to classify people and study about it, and it also allows people to take an action if the behavior is not socially acceptable. Thus, from the footage, police can study and analyze shoplifters' action and make a program that can alert shop assistant if someone is acting same with the shoplifters. As a result, surveillance can help prevent and control crime. Now we are talking the problems of surveillance. Many people concerned that surveillance has lack of privacy, as feeling that somebody is watching us and know what we are doing, what we are searching on internet. For example, if we are buying something online, our information like what we are buying, personal information like our name, age, and where we live are collected by a program, then it is used by marketer. This is called cookies, where our data is collected, and from that, they make an analyze about that, said Gates and Magnet. It can be an ethical issue because we do not know how our data are being used and also they can sell the data to other marketers and it becomes tradable community. The second is cyber stalking which can lead to employee surveillance. In this case, people get fired because of their internet use, not by basic McNamara and Sullivan. It becomes the downside of surveillance where it is the freedom and privacy of people in expressing feelings. Company can track their employees through email and internet use. According to Chuckley, this notion has been discussed by Focal before, which is called Omnoptican. Omnoptican means that everybody watching everybody, thus in this case, employers is watching employees online. Hence, employee surveillance is unethical because it interferes employees' freedom and it is employees' right to free speech. In conclusion, the development of technology in surveillance can make publics feel safer with the camera on the street as an enabler of communication and control and prevent shoplifter, while there are also concerns around that which is lack of freedom and privacy. Created using Powtoon.